Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this is my grocery haul this week. Everything you see here was $112 with tax. So let's get into the meal plan. So this is my meal plan for December 3rd through the 9th. Y'all know my budget's always $100. However, I went over about, I think it was like $12, so not super bad. But that's because I did my menu planning and my grocery shopping online with the online grocery pickup while hungry. I don't recommend it because that's why we went over because we're having a little bit of extras this week as far as indulging. So more coffee, please. Absolutely. Today's actually Monday when I'm filming. If y'all follow me on Instagram, I post... Uh, you know, things there all the time that I don't post here on YouTube. I know I've been preaching that a lot, but I want y'all to see the other side of me sometimes. And I definitely put that all over Instagram. So I was like, oh my gosh, Monday is dragging y'all, but it was actually a pretty decent day. And the coffee definitely helped. We're having cheesy chicken voila bag. Um, that is a bumped recipe from like a couple weeks ago. That's just a frozen bag. Y'all know what that is, but I love having that every once in a while. We haven't had that in like forever, probably years. And then I've got some veggies on the side with that. Then Tuesday is a new recipe. It is taco bowls. So we're gonna be making that and I am gonna share that on Foodie with y'all later. It looks really delicious and I'm super excited about it. This Mexican rice is homemade and I have made that on Foodie before and it is delicious. So I will link that in the I cards above. First I drink the coffee. I mean, I'm all about the coffee this week, guys. Three weeks, three weeks until Christmas break. We got this, we got this. Leftovers until, our leftovers on Wednesday of the taco bowls, hopefully. On Thursday, I'm gonna be making my slow cooker barbecue chicken. That is divine. I have made that on Foodie as well, so I'll link that up in the in the iCards above. It is like dump and go, guys. I'm all about that life as far as being a working mom, so I'm so excited about making that. I haven't made it in a while, and again, I have made it on my channel. Corn on the cob and just some basic, like, I think I have some brandless, like, knockoff to Kraft macaroni and cheese. I'm just gonna throw that in there. Thursday after work, I have my follow-up allergy appointment at four o'clock, so I will be I will be uh, hightailing it to the allergist because I get off work at like 3.45 and I'll make it in time, but it's gonna be a rush. But I wanna see their suggestions on if I need to go weekly to get allergy shots, if I need to get an EpiPen. I get on Instagram, I posted pictures of me being swollen up like crazy. I'm allergic to everything. And I did post on my Dollar Tree haul too, but it was craziness as far as what I'm allergic to. Oh my gosh. But I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my face. I'm allergic to something. I don't think it's product. I think it's got to be like trees and stuff. I'm allergic to everything. It's craziness. Out to eat on Friday. Y'all know Texas Roadhouse usually is our jam. We went there last weekend, um, but I'm not sure where we're going to go this week for going out because on Saturday morning, we will be getting up super early to go to Trey's school because they're having their annual Christmas breakfast and pictures with Santa. I'm so excited. The pictures with Santa always come out awesome from his school because they really do well with working with kids with special needs. So they take their time with Trey, being that he's autistic, and really make sure that we get a good picture and not try to rush us, even though the line's hella long. They are so good about that. And I so appreciate that as a mom of an autistic baby. So I really, really love getting his pictures done there. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up my groceries that afternoon. I don't wanna go back into town, but we shall see. And we're going to have that night before we leave to go eat breakfast. I'm going to put ribs in the slow cooker. That's what I spent a little extra on this week. And then I'm going to be making Kira's cheddar and bacon potato salad. She made this for us when we went on our beach trip, and it is in our cookbook that is available on Amazon. So if you didn't pre-order our purchase one, guys, I will leave it in the link down below. It's always in these grocery hauls if you want to purchase our cookbook because there are some bomb recipes in there. And I'm telling y'all, I had this and it was so delicious. I love potato salad like this. And she's spot on with this recipe. So I'm gonna be making that because I'm trying to make recipes from our cookbook because I have so many of Kira and Vanessa's recipes I wanna try. So I'm excited about that. And just some random like baked beans on the side. I wanna make Vanessa's. She, hers were really good. She made those on the beach trip too. So Sunday, get it done. Y'all know that's my couponing day and maybe shopping to get my groceries. I don't know, but that is like a super busy day for me. I don't stop from getting up to going to bed. That's like my busiest day of the week probably is on Sundays and it should be the most relaxing, right? Leftovers of the barbecue ribs on Sunday. That'll be easy since I'm going, going. And then I wanted to mention some notes for Foodie Friday. So that pesto mozzarella pasta, I know I mentioned this in the grocery haul that you're gonna see in a minute, but it was no good, guys. I did not enjoy it. I felt like it was very bland. 
I don't know. It just wasn't my thing. It needed some more spice. So I definitely, if I made it again, I would definitely amp it up, but I just didn't care for it. It's not something that I would make again. So if I make something and it's no good, I definitely don't share it here on my channel because I don't want y'all making anything or me saying something's great and it's total crap. Y'all know I'm all about that life, never steering y'all in the wrong way. So I was like, uh, I even filmed it all. Oh man, I filmed it everything, but I was like, delete because it was no good. So I was mad about that. So either this Friday, guys, y'all comment down below what you want to see for foodie this week, and I'll definitely make viewers choice. So either my mom's traditional dressing, I filmed that for Thanksgiving, and I told y'all I wanted to bring that to you before Christmas. If you're making turkey, you definitely can um, make my mom's dressing. It is so good. I love that dressing. Or those taco bowls I mentioned. So that's a new recipe. Hopefully it's good. And if it is good, I will bring that to you guys if y'all vote for that one this week. So either way, one of these will be coming to you. Y'all just let me know which one you want to see this week. So that is my meal plan this week, y'all. Let's get into the actual right, so grocery I got haul. some organic bananas for Waylon. This was a substitution. I just put regular cilantro in my cart. And this is even better because this is the organic cilantro, which is more expensive. Not by much, but glad to have that substitution that was a good one and then I got a half gallon of two percent milk to have on hand for cereal and recipes I got a half gallon of almond milk for Waylon I went to my big Walmart today to pick up I've been going to the market neighborhood Walmart to pick up my groceries with the online grocery order but I went to my big one because my neighborhood market was out of stock of like everything I needed so um, they don't have this at the neighborhood market anyway they never carry it so I got a half gallon of that for Waylon I got a 100% orange strawberry banana juice for me and the hubby. It I bought this before. It's really good, and I was just craving it. Um, when I did this online order pickup, guys, I was hungry, so never do that. It's not good to shop in store or online for your grocery order. Our homemaker premium 100% orange juice. We love that stuff. Then I got, I only need like two or three jalapenos, but the way that they do it on the online grocery order is like this is the minimum you can get, and it's like 10 of them. It's a million, but it's like no price, so that's okay. I also only needed like four Roma tomatoes, but with the weight they went ahead and gave me, it looks like six, and they're huge and nice, so that was good. I needed two white onions for recipes, shredded iceberg lettuce for our taco night, and this was a disappointment. So y'all look how puny and bad this pineapple looks. I'm gonna have to eat this like today ASAP because it is ready, and if I let it go, it's gonna sour. And this was on rollback for $1.98. I guess I know why, right? I needed two limes for that Mexican rice, I have made that on Foodie. It'll be in the I cards above. I needed some green onions. These are the organic kind for recipes as well. That's for the potato salad, I think. Then our tried staple, the Simply Lemonade. That's the big one. I got a, I think this is a three pound bag, yep, of organic red potatoes for Kira's potato salad. I will have the cookbook linked down below if I didn't mention it already. Um, that you can purchase on Amazon to get the recipe for the potato salad that we made on our Savannah, not Savannah, on our beach trip. That A couple of recipes we made together and we took pictures. That's the whole inspiration for our beach trip. And that potato salad I've already tried because she made it while we're on the beach trip. And it is delicious, guys. So I'm going to be making that this weekend. I cannot wait. Now, something I did not buy from Walmart, this is from Rouse's, as you can see, and they had their ribs on sale for 79 cents a pound, like what? And I got this big thing of ribs for $6 with tax, and I wanna say, I'm trying to look over here, I, oh, it's seven and a half pounds of ribs. Like what guys, seven and a half pounds of ribs for $6. That's an amazing price. And I'm shopping on Sunday and today was the last deal for that. And I knew we were making ribs and guys, $6 versus $12 for Walmart for not even like a fraction of the poundage, like ridiculous. So that was a great deal. Another great deal was the organic sharp cheddar cheese online. These are on clearance for $2. Now, when you go in store, I think they're more, and this is the organic sharp cheddar and we love this stuff. And y'all know I like grading my own. So $2, for a block each was a great deal. I needed a lot of cheese this week for recipes. Then I got some original sour cream. I have some on hand, but that's for taco night. Also for the taco night is the pico de gallo. This is for the hubby. I really don't like pico de gallo myself. I love cilantro, but not like all the tomatoes. I know I'm super weird, but I got that for him. And I think that was $3. And usually they have like Ibotta credits for that kind of stuff. But with the online grocery, you can't submit receipts. So that's the only bad thing. Then I also got Trey's tried 
tried and true staple, the Gordo's cheese dip. Y'all ask me all the time where this is. For us, this is in the deli section, but I know a lot of y'all say that your store doesn't carry it, so that sucks because this stuff is good, so I know why he likes it so much. Then this is because of Anchor Amber, and I tried it, and I love it. So this is the Lean Cuisine Vermont White Cheddar Mac and Cheese. This stuff is bomb, made with organic pasta, $2.50, so a little bit pricier than I would want to pay for a frozen dinner, but it is delish and better for you, I guess. That's for lunches for mama. Then I got some of the great value fully cooked bacon. That is for the potato salad as well. This is my favorite fully cooked bacon. I love this versus name brand. Yes, you heard me say that. Then I needed some whole kernel corn for a recipe, some frozen. So I got 12 ounces of that. And I also got some corn on the cob to go alongside of our barbecue chicken. That barbecue chicken recipe I've made on foodie and it will be in the iCards above. I needed some rice for that Mexican rice recipe. Now this is for me in the hubby. This is the fruit punch artificial drink mix, sugar-free. It does have aspartame in it, guys, but you know we do not do anything bad around here. So if that's the worst that we're doing, I guess we're doing all right, and we like it. It tastes like Kool-Aid without the sugar. Then I got the, speaking of sugar, like why am I worried about that when I'm like dousing my food in this, right? Uh, the great value brown sugar hickory baked beans. That's to go alongside barbecue chicken. This is the barbecue sauce that we absolutely adore, and this is for the barbecue chicken as well. Hickory and brown sugar by Sweet Baby Ray's. Best barbecue sauce, hands down, you'll eat in your life. I'm telling y'all, so good. So I got that. I needed some chicken broth, so I got a 32 ounce of the organic kind. Also some organic tomato paste for the Mexican rice, I think. And then black beans to go along with that taco bowl black bean recipe I'm going to be making. I'm going to try to film that and share that with y'all on Foodie. Speaking of that recipe and also back to Amber, she loves these soft tortilla bowls. She raves about them in her grocery bowl, grocery bowls, grocery hauls all the time. So I got the eight pack of the regular size bowls, as you see here, but I also saw these little mini bowl flour tortillas. I mean, look how cute they are. And I thought these would be perfect for the boys. Um, I know Trey's not gonna eat it, but Waylon for sure, he'll probably try it. And the mini ones, that was just super cute to me. Or I could take that for lunches. I thought that'd be cool for leftovers. Then Trey's diced pears and 100% juice every week. Now this is something new. waylon has been loving those organic, brandless, knockoffs cheese it's he's eaten like all the ones i've ordered from brandless and i didn't want to buy cheese it's and i wanted to keep it organic so i got the cheddar cheese baked snack crackers that look like little owls from great value these are really cheap and i'm hoping he likes those they're kind of like goldfish so he loves him some cheese it's those those ones from brandless he like can eat a whole box in a second then also what they can eat in a second is the organic great value strawberry fruit and grain bars i buy those every single week also every week for Waylon, the mini muffins and blueberry. That's like, they're obsessed with some of these things, I swear. And then also the Simply Cheeto Puffs White Cheddar. This is to bring to his school to have on hand for snack at school. We buy the little bags on Amazon and that's what I feed them here or for lunches. So I buy the big bags to send to therapy and to school. I got four boxes because they are flying through drink lately. I don't know what the deal is, but I got a fruit punch, tropical tide, berry rapids, and strawberry kiwi surf in the roaring water. So this is just flavored water better than the regular Capri Suns. Hot mess mom Amanda put me on to these and I will forever thank her for that because these are way less sugar than the ones I was giving them. Also, thanks to Amanda, she had told me that the Great Value white bread does not have high fructose corn syrup in it anymore. I used to buy this all the time, and then when it had high fructose corn syrup, I stopped and switched to the Sara Lee, which I still like the Sara Lee better. I'm gonna be honest, y'all, I like the Sara Lee better, but this is half the price, and it does the job for you know your PB and J's, especially when I'm cutting most of the bread for these cute lunches for Christmas and Halloween. So right now, this will suffice just fine. Now, yes, you are seeing toilet paper in a grocery haul. Like, what is my life as a couponer? I am out of toilet paper. I need to get my booty to Dollar General and get some toilet paper and do some deals because I'm out. So this was a substitution. I actually had the great value, the four double rolls, and it was like, I don't know, like $2 for four double rolls. And they subbed me for the Angel Soft four double rolls, which is fine, whatever. Toilet paper's toilet paper to me, but I don't want to have to pay $2 for four, four rolls. That is like absurd as a couponer, as y'all know. Then I got some Coke Cherry Zero 12 pack for school. I have like one or two left in my mini fridge and I'm out and that gets me through the rest of the day with the caffeine. I need that and coffee in my life to function as a mama and a teacher and YouTuber to do everything. I've got to have caffeine. That's my, that's my vice is caffeine is it. 
And then last but not least, I got two bags of the bite-sized tortilla chips. They were sold out of the big party bag, so I got two of those for Trey's queso. So that is everything for $112, guys. Um, $12 over the budget, but we are splurging a little bit with the ribs and some other new recipes. I needed ingredients I didn't have on hand. Um, so I'm happy with that. Not a big deal. Y'all give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these weekly grocery haul and meal plans. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already. I love to have you a part of the YouTube family here. Make sure to stay tuned for Foodie Fridays this week. I'm either going to share my mom's traditional dressing so y'all can go ahead and have that for Christmas ahead of time because I filmed that for Thanksgiving or I'm going to be sharing the taco bowl recipe all right um as I probably mentioned already earlier for the meal plan I am not going to be sharing the pasta recipe from last week because we did not enjoy it so I don't bring out anything that did not turn out good love you guys so much I'll have an amazing Tuesday and I'll see y'all in my next video bye guys <laughs>